This is KBIM News 10 Roswell. Now, covering southeastern New Mexico, Kim Steckline with KBIM News 10 at 5.30. Good evening. Thank you for joining us for KBIM News 10 at 5.30. I'm Jill Monier. Kim Steckline has the night off. First tonight, the anti-terror training director accused of stockpiling a mountain of missiles in New Mexico asked a judge for freedom today. But a judge says David Hudak must remain behind bars. Our Lisa Reyes joins us now live from the News Center with more. Lisa. Jill, David Hudak was in federal court today in Albuquerque on a motion to revoke a detention order that would have let him out of jail until his trial starts. But the federal attorney said Hudak, a Canadian citizen, is a flight risk, and he fears he will not show up for trial. Hudak's attorney called a witness today on behalf of Hudak. Dan Holtz is a sergeant with the Organized Crime Agency of British Columbia. He claims Hudak and his company, called High Energy Access Tools, or HEAT, is on our side working with law enforcement and counterterrorism. He also said the warheads found at the training camp in Roswell can be used for hostage recovery. However, the federal attorney claims those warheads were not intended for law enforcement purposes. Thousands of warheads were discovered in a bunker in mislabeled crates. It was enough to blow the training camp sky high, and none of it was registered. And Jill, in the end, federal judge John Conway agreed with the federal attorney that Hudak is a flight risk, so he will remain in, a, in an estancia jail until his trial starts in late January. Back to you. Thanks, Lisa. David Hudak is charged with illegal possession of firearms and possessing unregistered destructive devices. He's pleading not guilty to all charges. And while Hudak remains in jail, the city council is expected to decide what to do tonight with Heat's property. Before the Fed seized most of their company's property, computers, guns, and explosives, the company trained on a 50-acre property at the Roswell Industrial Air Center. Airport property manager Spencer Field says now a company called Matrix International out of Virginia wants to lease their space at the airport. And Matrix also has reportedly made a deal for the Tinney Ranch complex in the Hondo Valley. Matrix is a lot like heat in the respect that they have a contract with the U.S. government and foreign governments for building security and training of personnel. And like heat, their clients are confidential. The recommendation for the new lease is expected to go before the city council tonight at 7. A body found inside a burning car in any county is scorched so badly, officials have to rely on little more than car registration to identify it. Today, they released the name of the man they believe it is. Eddy County Sheriff's deputies found this car on fire at Lake Avalon last month, and inside was a body. Police say the body was burned beyond recognition. They had to rely on car registration and other personal items found near the scene to identify the man. Those clues have led them to believe that it is the body of 70 year-old Lewis Hamilton. The Office of the Medical Investigator has issued a death certificate for Hamilton listing the cause of death as a self-inflicted gunshot wound. No word on how the car caught fire. A Clovis, uh, Clovis police rather, are still searching for the man they believe and was involved in a drive-by shooting spree Monday night. As we first reported on Tuesday, Clovis police arrested Eugene Bonnie in connection with a shooting spree that left one person injured. Police say Bonnie's believed to be the shooter in the three separate incidents that happened earlier this week. And now they believe he had an accomplice. But police say Bonnie will not tell them who was with him that night. Bonnie was believed to have a European assault rifle at the time of his arrest. At this time, the investigation continues and police are now interviewing witnesses to try and figure out who was with Bonnie at the time of the shootings. Their job is to fight crime. Now, Eddy County law enforcement officials have been awarded hundreds of thousands of dollars. Our Antonia Gonzalez joins us now from Carlsbad to fill us in on how the money will be spent. Antonia. Jill, more than $200,000 provided by the federal COPS program will be used to help fight illegal drugs in Eddy County. A large part will focus on the growing methamphetamine problem. The Eddy County Sheriff's Department plans to use the large chunk to educate and train the public, law enforcement, and emergency personnel on the dangers associated with the manufacture, distribution, and use of meth. Sheriff Kent Waller says they will also be working with local businesses that sell meth-making chemicals and the Children, Youth, and Families Department because children are often around meth labs and are exposed to dangerous chemicals. Waller says the community will benefit from this grant. I'd say the bottom line we're going to be is, is to not only identify and educate our law enforcement, but it's to arrest those and, and uh, pursue those that are 
are producing the methamphetamine and then selling it. And Jill, Sheriff Waller says meth is the third largest problem in the county and has grown in the past few years. It's reported the Pecos Valley Drug Task Force has seized at least six meth labs this year. In Carlsbad, Antonio Gonzalez, KBIM News 10. Thank you, Antonia. The department was also awarded another grant of more than $20,000. That will, money will be helped to pay for other things like overtime. Well, more than two years ago, a deadly pipeline explosion claimed the lives of a dozen people near Carlsbad. Today, a bill to strengthen pipeline safety standards continues to make its way through Congress. In August 2012, family members were killed in a natural gas, line pipe, gas pipeline explosion in Eddy County. Senator Jeff Bingaman says Congress must take action to ensure a tragedy of this kind never happens again. And today, a bill designed to strengthen national pipeline safety standards was approved by the Senate. Senator Pete Domenici says the bill should incite more than more responsibility from the industry. If the bill is passed by the House, it would require new inspections and pipeline assessments. It would also include provisions to increase civil penalties against companies that violate pipeline safety laws. Representative Dan Foley got arrested this afternoon, but it's not what you think. Foley was nominated to participate in this year's Muscular Dystrophy Association lockup. He, uh, as he read his, was read his rights, Foley was only able to take with him two things, a checkbook and a cell phone. Police then took him to jail at Tijuana's restaurant in Roswell, where he called his friends and family to raise bail, which all goes to the MDA right here in Chavez County. Even though he was put in handcuffs and taken away in a squad car, Foley says it was worth it. I, I don't know how good of a prisoner I'll be, but it's uh, definitely an honor to be able to help people, and especially when you know that it's going to uh, be helping people throughout New Mexico, specifically here in Chavez County and Roswell. It's, it's a great honor to, to be part of this. Mayor Bill Owen and Fire Chief Mike Matthews were also jailbirds today. Those with heart problems in Leamington may have a higher chance of survival if they go into cardiac arrest. Thanks to the Leamington Fire Department and some grant money, the city now has three heart defibrillators, which the police will carry in their patrol cars 24-7. During an emergency, it's possible that police can arrive at a scene before EMS. Now the defibrillators are readily available, and police can use the new machines to shock a patient and possibly keep them stable before medical technicians arrive. The Carlsbad Police Department also uses defibrillators, and law enforcement in Chavez County is looking into similar machines. Along with the new superintendent came a lot of changes for Roswell schools. Still to come on KBIM News 10 at 5:30, we'll tell you what this what the school district is doing to help parents understand what's going on. Plus, the Department of Labor is going high tech. How is it going to affect their business? We'll tell you what's going on right after the break. to you by Desert Sun Motors of Alamogordo. From the incredible Venetian Hotel in the heart of Las Vegas, this is Powerball Instant Millionaire. Check out last week's at-home players who each won $100. And be sure to catch all the fun and excitement this Saturday night as another lucky player from New Mexico tries to become a Powerball Instant Millionaire. For your chance to appear on Powerball Instant Millionaire, play the new Fame and Fortune Scratcher from the New Mexico Lottery. Watch Powerball Instant Millionaire right here every Saturday night at 10.30. It's fun <laughs> to go! Tia Juanas in Roswell, bring your family today for affordable, mouth-watering Mexican food and enjoy our shades of old Mexico surrounding. Spice up lunch or dinner by choosing from our tasty menu, including chile rellenos, paquitas, steaming soups, and mesquite broiled steaks and seafood. From 4 to 7, it's happy hour every day in our spacious cantina. $1.50 draft and $1.85 margaritas. Great food, spicy fun at affordable prices. Juanas, a very special Mexican grill and cantina. Looking for the perfect gift? So if you can't afford an American quarter horse, here's the next best thing. Join Plateau Wireless in collecting toys for tots and we'll reward your generosity. Bring in a toy and get a Nokia 3360 digital phone for a penny and free activation with a qualified rate plan. Or give the gift of Plateau to go prepaid wireless. Toys for tots, help deserving children and help yourself to a great deal. Get connected with somebody you care about with Plateau Wireless and tell them Michael Martin Murphy gave you the idea. <laughs> Oh, 
Oak Express is having a dining room blowout just in time for holiday gatherings. Now's the time to get solid deals on solid oak and oak veneer dining room tables. Like this 42-inch solid oak table, now only $210. Or this 72-inch table for only $265. Plus get one year no payments and no interest at Oak Express. Bedroom Expressions is having a store-wide blowout savings event. Get this five-piece Mission Pine Group for only $1189. Or the Shaker-style Bed and Room Group for only $1183. Plus get no payments and no interest for one full year. The New Mexico Department of Labor is getting connected, and it's not business as usual anymore. Those searching for jobs or a new challenge in life can log on to the Internet. Today was the premiere of the department's website. Employers can post jobs on the site, and workers at the Department of Labor say it makes things a lot easier for their clients. People that have a hard time getting in here from, like, Hagerman, Lake Arthur, Dexter, can do this from the computer. So it saves them a trip. And then people that don't have a long time to wait in our lobby, in case we have quite a few people working, they can just access it from home. For more information on accessing the site, call the Department of Labor at 624-6040. The Roswell Independent School District is hoping to help parents understand the new changes this year. They've held several forums to help parents cope with new frustrations. Tonight, a forum will be held completely in Spanish. Tonight will be the final forum, and it will address issues in Spanish to benefit non-English speaking parents and interested citizens. The meeting starts tonight at 6.30 in the board at the Administrative Center on 300 North Kentucky in Roswell. Well, the sun is shining now. Well, I guess it's setting now. But will it stay? I guess it's set now. But will it stay that way over the weekend? Meteorologist Mike Hernandez is coming up with the extended forecast. Next, plus a national crime-solving effort involving the case of a David Parker Ray and dozens of women he sexually tortured. Investigative reporter Chris Williamson gives you an exclusive look at never-before-seen evidence in the case that could solve missing persons cases across the country. Horrifying secrets revealed tonight at 10 on KBIM News at 10. Stay tuned. We'll tell you how you can win thousands of dollars worth of prizes. That's coming up next. I'm Ryan Gass, and this is the KBIM News for Kids. Most of us know what a leech is. Some of you may remember them in The African Queen, a movie starring Humphrey Bogart. Scientists have invented a new nifty mechanical leech. This new blood sucker may not be as cute as the real leech, but doctors believe it may have an improvement on nature. Scientists claim that the new mechanical leech is more useful for promoting the flow of blood tissue after surgery. I'm Ryan Gass, and that was News for Kids. Inside the infamous David Parker Ray trailer, unspeakable sexual torture devices, and pieces of jewelry, items of clothing, never seen before now. What were they doing there? Investigators think they belong to scores of missing women who were victims of this depraved sex criminal. Could they belong to anyone you know? A crime alert investigation so important police across the country will be watching tonight on KBIM News 10 at 10. Log on to krqe.com and click on Experts Online, New Mexico's definitive resource for free expert advice. Submit a question to our expert or look up valuable free information. I went straight to the experts, Remax Masters. I got professional, friendly service. They really listened. Ask the experts, Remax Masters, on krqe.com. Hi, I'm Dr. Mitch Binder from the Loveless Oncology Department, where we provide compassionate, specialized care to patients with cancer. Experts Online at krqe.com. Attention Southeastern New Mexico, at Desert Sun is the biggest automotive sale ever. The total and final absolute year-end closeout. Zero, zero, zero continues. Zero down, zero percent financing and zero payments till next year. Zero percent financing for 60 months on all Chevrolets, Oldsmobiles and Cadillacs. Every Avalanche, DeVille, Silverado, Alero and even Corvette at zero percent for 60 months. All threes with zero percent of rebates up to 2,000. For the best deals under the sun, as Desert Sun, Chevrolet, Oldsmobile, Cadillac, 2601 West 2nd, Roswell. Is your truck ready for this? Ours are... Sierra Blanca Motors has the trucks you need for winter. Like the 2003 Jeep Grand Cherokee.
get a $2,000 rebate or get 0% financing for up to 60 months. And we'll match your down payment up to $1,000. Be ready for this. Cash back and low finance rates only at Sierra Blanca Motors. 300 Highway 70, Ruidoso. Head of the Week is brought to you by Joe's Boot Shop and Country Junction in Clovis. Going once, going twice, sold to the highest bidder. You don't have to attend a fancy auction to bid on prizes. All you have to do is tune in to the radio. Listeners can tune in to 105.1 FM Saturday morning beginning at 9. Over $12,000 worth of items will be up for bid, including weekday ski passes, golfing certificates, and a season table at the Riedoso Downs Racetrack. This is the third year the radio station this is holding the event, fun, and all proceeds go to a good cause. Place their bids, and at the same time, we're raising money for the Red Cross, which we think is a great organization to be part of. Again, all the money will benefit the Rio Hondo chapter of the American Red Cross. The following is a list of numbers you can call on Saturday morning to bid on your favorite items. Well, he's a wood turner with a new twist. And before heading to the Smithsonian in Washington, D.C., he's heading to Rio Doso. Studio W in Rio Doso is hosting a reception this weekend featuring unique works of art by El Paso artist Dave Branch. Branch has spent the last 12 years perfecting its craft, turning wood into spheres containing geometric solids. Owners of the gallery say guests will be amazed by what they see. I, I compare them to Fabergé eggs. They, they don't exist anywhere else and cannot exist anywhere else unless someone else is willing to expend the many years of time. And you can check out some of Branch's work this weekend at Studio W in Rio Doso between the hours of 10 and 6. Admission is free and some of the woodworks will be for sale. Youth Challenge stepped up to the plate today to help Johnny Gonzalez with his annual Thanksgiving dinner. Turkey Day is just a few weeks away and Johnny Gonzalez has a lot of preparing to do, so he enlisted help from Roswell's Youth Challenge Academy. And these tough girls were up to it as they organized the storage room and moved boxes, making sure there was enough room for the donated food that's expected to pour in. They say the little bit of elbow grease they put in today was well worth it. It's pretty cool, like, being able to come here and help out for making meals and stuff for, the th for Thanksgiving and for people in the community that, like, don't have the money to go and get food or whatever. We can help them out. It's pretty fun. Gonzalez's annual dinner feeds thousands of hungry and homeless in Roswell. He's accepting donations for turkey and desserts and other dishes. For more information on volunteering, call 627-8469. Now, here's KBIM News 10 Skywarn Weather with Mike Hernandez. And a good evening. Hope you all enjoyed the day today because things are going to start to subtly change here as we move into tomorrow and then into the early part of the weekend. Fair skies for Roswell tonight and as we move through the evening, temperatures falling to around 50, a little breezy at times on the winds. Overnight, partly cloudy and about 36, so a little cool, especially with the winds not really tailing off and becoming light till probably later on this evening. Tomorrow, partly cloudy, breezy, 53. Northwest winds at about 10 to 20 miles an hour. And if you look at what's going on, we still got a lot of action going on back into the northeast corner of Colorado. And this is kind of just getting it going. There is a disturbance. It looks like it's going to miss us here completely. But we could see a spotty shower late into the day. Cool temperatures kind of prevailing. Cool to mild for the most part. The system is to the north. That's the front. The front's going to go ahead and miss us, and then the high pressure is going to push in over the west. So the entire western half of the United States is going to fall under this high pressure that's sitting off the west coast, and that's going to bring in a steady northwest wind. Little disturbances may occasionally come through, but it doesn't look like it's going to affect us here in the south and east, and we're going to stay uh, relatively dry, breezy at times as we head towards next week, and through the weekend here, we could see some of that as well. Now, as far as where we can expect the showers, I think most of them are going to stay to the north. Late into the evening tomorrow, we may see a spotty shower around. The temperatures are in the 60s and 50s right now. 55 Clovis Portales, 66 in Hobbs, 63 in Roswell. Carlsbad's at 65, but only some 40s and 50s back towards Santa Fe, Raton, into the Four Corners, and mid to upper 60s around Deming to Lordsburg. You look at what's going on around the country, still a cold pool of air back into the lakes and the Dakotas, and that hasn't changed much. 75 this hour in Miami, 65 in Dallas and San Antonio is at 73, 77 in Phoenix, and you're seeing 60s all the way from San Francisco down to L.A. Everybody else is kind of in between 40s and 50s, so pretty mild temperatures for what we typically have this time of year back to the north. I haven't seen any cold snaps come in now in, in a couple of weeks. 
We still have a batch of rain showers that's developing and some thunderstorms back into Missouri. They're getting inundated with some rain right now. Then it changes to some rain into some higher elevation snows as we start to get into the mountains in the north and east there. As far as uh, the weekend, partly cloudy skies, mild to breezy, a few lingering showers back to the north. I think it's just going to be a little uncomfortable on Saturday and then better on Sunday. 36 in Roswell, 39 in Hobbs and 39 in Carlsbad with some 20s from Ridoso to Cloudcroft and some 30s from Alamogordo to Las Cruces. And then the highs tomorrow, mostly in the 50s to 60, mid 60s, say. 56 in Clovis, 57 in Portales, 53 in Ridoso, but only 45 in Cloudcroft, 62 in Alamogordo and in Las Cruces. And then from Hobbs to Carlsbad, we're talking mid 60s for the most part. So your seven day forecast then, 60 and 36, slight chances for some showers during the afternoon or thunderstorm late into the day. Other than that, looking for the, the pressure, high pressure to push on in, which is going to cool us off as we move into Saturday and Sunday. So I don't think we're going to make it out of the 50s. And morning lows will be in the 30 degree range. It's also going to be a little breezy tomorrow and Saturday at least. And then we'll start to see those temperatures shooting back up as we move into next week. Thanks, Mike. Coming up in sports, Mickey will preview the six-man state championship. Plus, one local athlete is going far from home. It's another big college signing in our area, and we'll have the details. Stay tuned. This portion of KBIM News 10 is brought to you by Plateau Wireless. Round-the-clock claim service in case this happens in a car. GEICO. A 15-minute call could save you 15% or more on car insurance. GEICO Auto Insurance. How may I help you? Hello? Hello? Need another way to talk to GEICO? Check out GEICO.com. In 15 minutes, you could save 15% or more on car insurance. Hello. All right. Our pick three players want a game that's easier to win. We need some ideas. What's easier than matching three numbers? How about matching two numbers? <laughs> Why didn't you think of that, Wilson? Pick three just got a whole lot easier to win. Now you can win by matching the first two or last two numbers. Pick three. It's as easy as one, two, uh, well, one, two. How many copies would you like, sir? Two. It's time to go! It's the sale you gotta yell! The screaming yellow tag sale! At Jim Spence, Oldsmobile, Cadillac, and GMC and Hobbs! Due to overstock of trade ins, Jim Spence has drastically reduced prices on used cars! GM certified vehicles, lease turn ins, even late model trade ins! Pontiac, Chevy, GMCs, you name it, just $2 down! Payments as low as $89 a month! Plus, all credit applications accepted, and top dollar pay for all trade! Hurry, the screaming yellow tag sale ends Saturday at 6 p.m. For more information, go to screamingyellowtag.com! Rush to Jim Spence, Oldsmobile, Cadillac, and GMC and Hobbs! I think a great deal about my 1941 Chevrolet. That's why whenever it needs any servicing, I bring it to Pit Stop Lube and Wash. At the Pit Stop Lube and Car Wash, we're driving performance because we put high-performance Pennzoil products in your vehicle to keep it running smoothly. I even get a free car wash with my oil change. So the next time it's time to change your oil, remember Pennzoil and the Pit Stop Lube and Car Wash at 3204 North Main, Roswell, and receive your free exterior car wash. It takes a lot of nerve to step into Professor Trebek's classroom, but you could walk away with 50 grand and a new car. Pay attention because class is now in session. On the next college championship from Ohio. Thursday at 6 on KBIM News 10. It's college week from Seattle. The Emerald City is being overrun with college kids, prizes, and some serious green on the next Wheel of Fortune College Week from Seattle. You can't miss it. Thursday at 6.30 on KBIM News 10. Wow. Wow is right. With Dish Network, you'll get America's lowest all-digital price package. Over 50 channels for just $22.99 a month. Try getting that from cable. Wow. Visit a participating retailer today or call 1-800-333-DISH and ask about our free dish offer. And welcome back to KBIM News 10 at 5.30 this evening with Sports. I'm Mickey Winfield. Another big local college signing this morning. And for that, we go to the Bulldog Pit at the City of Champions in Artesia. Lady Bulldog athlete Abby Sims signed today with North Carolina State for her softball skills. But she really is an all-around athlete. Abby is in her senior year at Artesia High. 
and she tells us about the process of being recruited. First of all, since I was like a little bitty, I've always wanted to play Division One softball. Um, going through the recruiting process was so tough. It was an emotional roller coaster, and I knew that going into it, but I didn't. I don't think I understood the degree of it. And I visited a couple of colleges, and you know how people say you just get the feeling. Well, you do. You just get the feeling. And I'm the Wolfpack got a big star with Abby Sims. Another basketball signing for a New Mexico college this morning. David Fisher of Dallas has signed a national letter of intent to play for the New Mexico State basketball squad for the 2003 season. He's a six foot six senior forward at South Oak Cliff High School in Dallas. He averaged 16 points and eight rebounds a game during his junior season. Earlier in the week, we previewed the six-man state championship game on the Gateway Christian side. This afternoon, I spent some time with the other half of that equation, the Lake Arthur Panthers coach, Jose Porras. The Panthers held a pep rally earlier today to get everybody ready for the game. Coach Porras tells me, tells me what a victory on Saturday would mean to his program. For one, it'd be a big deal to the kids, especially the seniors. Um, this would be the, <clears throat> we haven't won the championships in 1993. Uh, they lost in 97 and hopefully we're trying to bring it back this year. Um, it it means a lot to me because it'd be my first ch championship as a coach, and we'll basically just bring back the tradition of Lake Arthur football. The big game is on Saturday at Gateway Christian. Now, if you've been living in a cave during the last week, here are the details. It's the Lake Arthur Panthers and the Gateway Christian Warriors for the New Mexico Six-Man State Championship this Saturday night at 6 p.m. It's going to be one great game. Here is the latest from the New Mexico AP poll released yesterday. Starting out in 5A, of course, the Mayfield Trojans undefeated with 12 first place votes, followed by the Clovis Wildcats. Las Cruces is in third, followed by the La Cueva Bears in fourth, and Carlsbad in fifth. To 4A now, of course, the Artesia Bulldogs are kings right now of Class 4A football, followed by Oñate, Kirtland Central in at third, followed by the St. Pius Sartans and the Goddard Rockets in at fifth. To 3A now, led by the Pertalis Rams. Uh, they take the first spot, followed by St. Michael's. The Lovington Wildcats at number three, followed by Rudoso and West Las Vegas. 2A football now, the Santa Rosa team has all 11 first place votes with an undefeated record, followed by the Tucumcari Rattlers, Estancia in at three, Hatch Valley, followed by Lordsburg. And take a quick look at 1A now, the Fort Sumner Foxes still lead there. Jill, looks like you got a friend there. Yes, we have a heavy friend. This is a big <laughs> cat. This is uh, Gerard. It's two years old and it's a neutered male bobtail and it's the pet of the week from the Roswell Humane Society. You can call them if you would like to adopt Gerard at 622-8950 and if you adopt this little kitty, you can get a free bag of PMI exclusive dog or cat food from Joe's Boot Shop in Clovis. All right, well, that'll do it for this edition of KBIM News 10. We'll see you right back here at 10. Introducing the 2003 Lincoln Town Car. Everything about it says new. Now get 0% financing on the town car or up to $3,000 cash back. There are those who travel and those who travel well. The furniture for your home should match your personality, your taste, your sense of decor. Plus, you want quality, affordability, and prompt, friendly service. At Valley Furniture on the Square in Portales, we know this is what you deserve. We've been providing quality furniture and excellent services since 1957. We have all the name brands you look for, GE, Lazy Boy, Roy Hill, and Steely, so we can provide you with the look and style you desire. Plus, Moonwater Spas for soothing relaxation. The place with the furniture you've been looking for is Valley Furniture in Portales. Success starts here. E-N-M-U, Roswell. Success starts here. When it comes to learning for success, you want a strong foundation. And when quality is a must, ours is a lower cost, higher education. E-N-M-U, Roswell. Success starts here. E-N-M-U-R. Here's tonight's estimated top prize for the Roadrunner cash drawing from the New Mexico Lottery. Here's the Jeopardy College Championship. Here are today's contestants. From Los Palos, California, now a junior and a 
Azusa Pacific University, Corey Leffler. From Livonia, Michigan, now a freshman at the Ohio State University, Mark Harris. And from Savannah, California, now a senior at Washington University in St. Louis, Ariana.